dear friends of Books and Voices of Revelation. Below, we have the narration of the following audiobook. How to Put an End to the Nocturnal Visits of the Spiritual Husband or Wife by Elvis Informacong Endite Introduction The sea spirit is a demonic spirit that is destroying our society every day. Many people ignore satanic strategies. This book will allow you to know the reality of the spiritual husband and wife and separate yourself from this demonic spirit that torments 80% of the world's population. Many people are unaware of its existence while they are not exempt from its consequences. In this book you will discover the secrets of its initiation and how to put an end to this demonic spirit that weaves the homes, finances, relationships and destiny of human beings. In this material there are strategic prayer points to bring down sea kingdoms, you will discover the dangers of having sex in your dreams and the consequences that come with it if you don't put an end to it. Is there a definitive solution for this? You'll find out after using the book. You have to cast out this unclean spirit with prayers, spiritual warfare. Stand up like a military personality. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may stand firm against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the highest. Ephesians 6 verses 10 and 12. Jesus is welcoming. He is welcoming you now because you have been following your own ways, but he wants you to turn to him and he will receive you. It's not too late yet because this is the day he's been waiting to welcome you back to him, but turning your back on him will lead to eternal damnation. This is that golden opportunity you've been looking for, grab it and lay up treasures in heaven where there's no mud, rust, corruption, and thieves can't see or touch it. But lay up treasures for yourself in heaven where none of these things can see you. It is not by the work of righteousness that we have done it, but according to his mercies, he saved us. Titus 3 verse 5. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 verse 6. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16. But who said it? The word is closer to you, even in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith that we preach. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesses unto salvation. What is a spiritual wife and a spiritual husband? There are several sex spirits that torment people, the sex spirits that attack women are called spirit husbands, while sex spirits that attack men are called spirit wives. When I speak of spiritual wife and spiritual husband, these are spirits that cause destruction in the lives of many while they are in bed. This spirit can operate either night or day, i.e. when the individual is sleeping as a man or a woman, the spiritual husband will come and have sex with women and when the man is sleeping a spiritual wife will come and have sex with them. These unclean spirits are acquired through sexual promiscuity, they are prominently connected with witchcraft spells, lust curses, and others. They can also operate when the individual is consciously and habitually engaged in sexual sins. Start with some when they are still kids. This spirit attacks some people even when they are awake with caressing hands, caressing hot lips and tongues, and other forms of lust. Sometimes it can seem like a dream as if you're imagining things, it is pleasurable from the start and results in sexual lust. Through these spirits all kinds of sexual experience can be generated, they delight in instilling pain, fears and mental disorders in the victims. These spirits play with their captives, tormenting them and using their bodies to satisfy the demon's filthy cravings. They do not limit whether the experience is pleasurable for their captives. They want the victim to be in pain and suffering all the time, they make the person feel helpless and confused in the worried person's life, it causes the spirit of loss to operate in their lives and they will never love that person. Stay with a man as a wife or a woman as a husband. He or she will be flirting from one man to another or jumping from one woman to another. Most of the time the spirit tells them not to get married and if they do, the man or woman will die or face an unacceptable experience from those demons, they would be frustrated in all areas of their life. 
These problems of spiritual marriage have become common in all corners of society, whether they are black or white people, these spirits penetrate. The evil spirit is real, I say this because many people suffer this yoke but don't know what it is, although it is only a dream, but this evil spirit will make them believe that it is. Some person even desires sexual dreams, not knowing that their destiny is being destroyed by this satanic spirit. Many people are aware of the fact that they are involved in these spiritual marriages that are beyond physical comprehension, yet they suffer the consequences. Whether you are conscious or unconscious, the consequences are the same, to ignore the devil and his agent is to neglect your destiny. As you go through this book, walk in the light of the truth that is revealed to you, take the prayers that are inside this book and do them with holy anger and aggression and get to the point where you tell the devil that there is a barrier of fire between us you will be released in Jesus' name. There will be marriage advancement, peace, prosperity, visa, womb fruit, and stability in every area of your life. This spiritual marriage decides the kind of life you should live because they have the authority to rule over you spiritually. If you are a victim of spiritual marriage, you need deliverance, you need Jesus to deliver you from bad marriage. They are people who are spiritually married with marriage certificate and rings, etc. The wicked spiritual husband and wife will always control your life your destiny will be manipulated, and your life will become a garbage dump. We all know that the spiritual controls the physical, that's why in real marriage you will never be happy because you are involved in spiritual marriage, you will experience things like sadness, bitterness and you will get confused that you would even call some of your friends or anyone around you, your enemies. Check your base. The problems that destroy lives and families are in the wake of the foundation, Psalm 11 verse 3. In Job 38 verse 6, we hear God ask a question about foundations, on what foundation are they set? Or who laid its cornerstone? Your happiness on this earth depends on the foundation you are on. There is nothing that can happen without foundations, a house cannot stand without foundations, but must be defective, the one with foundations will be strong. But all I know is that they must be something that sustains it. When a family is under a curse, the first child will come into the world with extra evil problems hanging over their head as the first person to open the door or blessing depending on the type of family. Problems are the result of a bad foundation, that is why in most countries in Africa, the first son is always considered a fool, spiritual manipulations have been made to destroy the firstborn. Most families in Africa have been worshipping various spirits, such as the water spirit, the forest spirit, the mountain spirit, and for that reason, children are automatically dedicated to those spirits. Some parents consciously hand over their daughters to spiritual beings at sea, in doing so they destroy the lives of those children. They told me about a river in the village in the western region of Cameroon, in that village all the children are dedicated to that river called Mermaid. They give their children to the water spirit for free and some witch doctor or demon priest goes there with ignorant disciples and gives them to those mermaid spirits in that river for free. This same practice occurs in many parts of the world. Immorality and prostitution, this is another fundamental problem. When a man commits immorality with a prostitute, he opens a great door for spiritual bondage in his life that cannot be imagined. When a man commits immorality with a prostitute, the demons of the last seven men who had sex with her will enter his life, then all the spiritual husbands will begin to torment him because he sleeps with his wife. If a woman lies down, with a man let loose the demons of the last seven women he slept with will enter her. Note that every prostitute has a spiritual husband or wife. I pray for a sister who told the story, one day he was walking he came across a ring and a voice that belongs to him. He took it and they were giving him directions to put the ring on his toe. From that day on, the level at which the demon realm communicates with her was high. All the worldly musicians who heard her voice wanted to sing with her. But she was an agent sent from the kingdom of darkness. She said there was a time when the spirit would push her into a forest where there is a lake and she sat down and put her foot inside until that spirit asked her to leave and she was also a member of a classical church choir. In the churches, the devil sent his knight to destroy the gathering of God's people, so we must be careful. If the chorus is mixed with bad seed, God's presence is far away. When you are a Christian sister and you accept that a Christian brother sleeps with you, you are destroying your own life. 
a lot of people have entered into demonic marriages as a result of participating in the cultural dance, maybe you've been married to some goddess, because the masquerades you wore are spirits, and they can't wear them without the spirit knowing you. In some of the cultural dances, men and women are almost naked, some are even naked, and some even declare that they are married to demons. In some families when they give birth to a child, they will consecrate the child in the sea and a particular spirit who would take the child as husband or wife, and it is said that she will never marry and if she does he or she will eventually die. That's why you see in some families, the spiritual husband and wife are part of them, as soon as they get married, the men and women would both be flirting. Anyone who flies with them will be in trouble, if you are a business person you would collapse and start experiencing unexplained problems. All this because the spiritual husband or wife is very jealous, unless Jesus sets you free, you will never get stability in your life. Sexual perversion, this constitutes a very strong entry point for the husband and wife of the wicked spirit into a person's life. Any sexual relationship that violates the Bible, which is the word of God, leads to spiritual mismarriage. Such as fornication, adultery, incest, masturbation, lesbianism, homosexuality, pornography and prostitution are avenues for entering into spiritual marriage with the evil spirit. If you look at the newspapers, there is a growing number of shocking news stories around the world. Some women even go so far as to sleep with animals, such as snakes, dogs, monkeys, and others do so for monetary purposes. While for some it is a way to have pleasure, in some countries homosexuality and lesbianism have been legalized by the government, which is demonic and sad news to tell. Some women even buy artificial penises, to use any time they need sex. Where is this generation going, and this is mostly practiced by both old and young women? This is the entry point for the spiritual husband. Some of these worldly musicians who dance naked, you who look at them and wish to be like them, that's an entry point into spiritual marriage, because most of them are demons. We have examined how the devil has managed to pervert sex, using it as a weapon of spiritual bondage, Genesis 2 verses 22 and 25. The woman was not a spirit or an animal for Adam to be with, but now men and women do sleep with animals. God did not say that a man should be with a spirit being like a woman. Sex is ordained by God for living things such as humans and animals. What comes to mind when you know that spirits are trying to reach you through that realm? Why should spirits think about sex? Why does the evil spirit have carnal knowledge of sex? Can you have such an act without having any purpose in the back of your mind? The Bible says, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is God speaking to us, but the Spirit is now marrying human beings. Ephesians 5 verses 31 and 32 talks about a man and a woman, when people come together sexually they become one flesh so it's a mystery. That's when an evil spirit wants to lead people into slavery, targets victims of spiritual sexual abuse. The moment a spiritual wife or husband spiritually abuses someone in the dream, that person automatically becomes one with that evil spirit. The best part of your life will be kept in the demonic case study, prosperity, marriage, good health, education, spiritual life, etc. You will not be able to progress physically as your star has been stolen and stored in the satanic furnace. Victims suffer a lot of effort and know how to achieve it, and even experience an untimely death. Before that happens, you must have contacted the spiritual husband or wife. This spirit has a purpose to archive, to contaminate the life of the victim. This demonic spouse operates like mosquitoes, spreading satanic viruses and attacking their victim when they know resistance is possible. Worldwide, 80% of the marriage problems faced by spinsters, singles, and married people come from the spiritual spouse, most of the leading cause of single people is spiritual marriage. Spiritual wife and spiritual husbands hate people to marry physically with perfect hatred and can be classified into different categories, physical spiritual spouse some spiritual spouse wicked operates physically, some of their victims can see them. I have come across a person who suffers demonic sexual harassment while awake. That spirit is the one that rules when he asks the victims not to go anywhere. They are bound to stay in the sport and will not move until that demonic spirit finishes its task for that day. Spiritual spouse, wicked, unconscious, or conscious, victims of spiritual bullying can be divided into two types, conscious or unconscious. 
but most people who suffer from it are unaware of what is happening to them. Victims are unaware of this sexual exploitation and abuse, they will make them in a way that they would never cross their mind that this wicked spirit is attacking them. That's why some people will even say that they enjoy spiritual wives and husbands. Spiritual prostitutes, this category operates as prostitutes because they are not limited to the victims. They attack as many as possible because the more they attack, the more havoc they wreak. Some have a mandate to move from one victim to another, and they can operate in many countries or continents, such as evil spiritual prostitutes. Some of these spirits are violent in the way that when victims awaken from sexual dreams, their reproductive organs will be sore from the violence and they will be very tired from spiritual sex. Some people complain of pains in their private parts. Some of the category will take on the appearance of someone their victims would hardly reject, some with male and female organs and carried out different functions and attacked different victims. Its main purpose is destruction, immediately a spirit, wife or husband has sex with a person, that is initiated. At most the virtues are being destroyed, that's why every time they have sex with you, your destiny is being destroyed, your potentials are being destroyed through spiritual sex. Some people immediately want to start a project, it would happen, and when it happens, it's all about the project. It should not baffle you that they are for destruction, it will always bring calamities, misfortunes, failures, and failures. Many people who were anointed lost that power through sexual abuse through dreams by the spiritual wife and husband. It causes late marriages, most victims marry when they pass the exact age God ordained them to marry, and such people always commit themselves from one man or woman to another, but never marry. Some would never marry, if they don't go through deliverance, some will get married but this spirit will cause them to have no children, unless they contact a man of God who will set them free. The spirit causes misfortune, anything you touch won't function normally, you work like an elephant and eat like an ant, all because you're involved in spiritual marriage. When you join a project with such a person, it will only work with serious sentences. Do not blame some people at a stage of confusion in their lives because this spirit injects the spirit of confusion into their lives and hatred. Some women and men this spirit would make them hate their partners with a passion. For example, a woman or a man would start saying that the love for my partner is no longer there, all because a spirit of wife or husband has put the spirit of hatred on them, people hate their family members and even reach the stage of regretting why they were born. Men who fall victim to this bride spirit spend all their time postponing weddings. This year they would tell people that this year is like this, and they would never experience a stable relationship. I have seen extremely beautiful ladies who succeed in their profession, but do not marry, simply because they cannot help themselves in the area of marriage. Handsome men who can't get married even if they do, the marriage won't last, and so it will be for the rest of your life. Anyone who has sex in dreams is under a serious satanic threat. Some even get pregnant and give birth in their dreams, that's why you see that some people can't be physically pregnant. Through perverse manipulation, Satan has corrupted normal human relationships, countless souls are involved in spiritual marriages of which they know nothing. Are you ready to receive the solution from the Lord Jesus? Briefly state that here is the victory. Repentance you must repent with all your heart, God expects you to cry out to him in repentance as soon as you have identified the satanic door that has brought your spiritual husband or wife into your life. You have to repent of every sinful relationship. If you receive a gift from a demonic man or woman, spiritual husbands or wives, they have the right to visit you and sexually abuse you. Many people have entered into slavery through the gift of the relationship they entered. I want you to know that the blood speaks, Jesus said to his disciples this is my blood of the new covenant that is shed for many for the remission of sins. If you recognize Jesus as savior, you have a right to blood. The blood of Jesus is such a terrible weapon that it can dislodge or dislodge the spiritual husband or wife from the territory of his or her life, and he cannot use blood without the name of Jesus. I remember there was a time when I prepared communion for people who were praying for something I didn't give them that night, so I left it at the altar. The next morning it was a total drama because the body wanted to get closer. They all screamed the blood, the blood that I had to command them in the name of Jesus before they could take communion so the blood of Jesus is very powerful. Renunciation, you must specifically renounce all vows or agreements made with spiritual husbands or wives, you must order them to pack up their loads and leave you and never return. 
How and what? The how talks about how you used to get involved with spiritual marriage and what about what has been destroyed in your life and the danger of staying in these kinds of bondages and the consequences. We all know that marriage is the only divine platform for sex, and everything on this earth has a door. That is, there is also a door in which the demonic spirit passes through others to possess men and women, and the mouth is also a door, the center of the human head, and the eyes are also a door for the demonic spirit. The demonic spirit uses these doors as an entry point into the lives of millions of people. Let me tell you something very important, there are two types of virginity but physical virginity is different from spiritual virginity. Those who suffer under spiritual captivity go through numerous problems in life such as, they dishonor the lives of their victims, they dismantle the good things in the lives of the victims. They divert the intended victims, make the victims tired of living and think only of death, sponsor defeat and discouragement. Its victims suffer from different types of diseases that have been deposited by demons. The devil will always want you to enjoy carnal pleasure for two to five minutes, but you'll spend the rest of your life paying for it. The God I know is about to free you from all spiritual marriage, I speak to you by the prophetic grace of God that is already sufficient in that spiritual marriage that you have been carrying for years in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are free by fire in the name of Jesus. Some parents sell the star of their children, even the unborn, to demons for short-term gain, God did not create man or woman for spirits to marry but one thing that baffles me is this, the spirit never thinks of good for the victims. Life or every attempt to move forward goes back to zero. Children who are under this servitude would cause their parents' business to collapse, some of them, their parents will be fired from work without notice, constant divorces in families, failure in academic and unstable marriage relationship is being caused by this evil spirit. Dear reader, let me surprise you, any demonic spirit in this world is connected with the water spirit, therefore if you can, from which I know it is possible to break free from the water spirit, you will be free from many problems in this world. There is no woman who is born to be barren. Any woman who is barren, there is a cause for it. I know a woman on a crusade and her problem was sterility, but a demon prevented her from giving birth. After she delivered the deliverance, God began to bless her with a child. Giving birth to abnormal children is always being caused by spiritual husbands, you should know that satanic civil angels move from one place to another to contaminate human beings, some women do conceive, but it is not their physical husband who impregnates them. But the wicked spiritual husband. Abnormal menstrual cycles, many women suffer from abnormal menstrual cycles and painful menstruation due to the spiritual husband's activities. They still cause them some kind of waste pain and it's a way their blessings are being stolen. Many women suffer from miscarriages, when a woman is pregnant and an evil spirit lies with her, if not for the mercy of God, she will face a miscarriage. Most of the time, the babies disappear without stress or the woman experiences a miscarriage or sometimes the woman experiences a flow of blood and that's it, the baby disappears, many men and women find it difficult to get a partner, simply because spiritually they are married people. Some people have no interest in getting married just because what they are supposed to have physically exists spiritually. It is said that most women nowadays suffer from breast cancer and fibroids, and it is that evil spiritual spouse. If you fail to track down the source of your problems, you will remain in that condition for your entire life. My sister, what you got spiritually can only be destroyed spiritually, you can go to the hospital and even buy drugs if it's good, but it will only calm him down but God is the one who will free you from that spiritual manipulation. Doors to see spirits. Most of the dresses worn by people attract spiritual wives, because they have been dedicated to the devil, before being exposed in the market some are being made in the sea spiritually. If physical appearance can patronize carnality, then the way you dress or what you wear has been dedicated to the devil for that use. Sexual laxity, this spirit can also be pierced through the eyes, hearing, and by heredity. Other entry points include masturbation, pornography, and watching nude movies. By caressing children's organs, satanic agents caressing children's organs, have led them to bad spiritual marriages, and this is how many have been giving themselves to spiritual marriages. So be careful who plays with your child or who takes care of them, because children are easily initiated through petting. Condom first of all, you should know that the condom is dedicated to these spirits before you introduce it to the market. It may not seem harmful, 
but it leads people into spiritual marriages. You have to know that it is the easiest way for evil powers to capture men and women, is through sexual intercourse. When some parents notice that their daughters have reached the age of sexual desire, they go to the local fetish priest for amulets that are supposedly meant to prevent young girls of getting pregnant. Many parents who requested amulets took their daughters to spiritual marriages with spiritual husbands. Her daughters also struggle with pregnancy as a married woman. Some make it impossible for any man to sleep with his daughters, in case any man tries to have sex with his daughters, the man will die instantly. A sister shared an experience with me. She said that when she was a child she was possessed by this water spirit. Every time those evil spirits came out of the lake, they would come out as physical humans and distribute things like candy and cookies to the kids at school. She alone would know that those people who appear physically are spirits, and as soon as they take it they are initiated like them into the sea. How to be freed from spiritual marriage The spiritual world is as real as the physical. What happens in the spiritual realm affects us physically in our day-to-day -day lives, ignorance is not an excuse. Just because you're not aware of a bad situation doesn't mean you won't suffer its consequences. Many people beat around the bush without knowing the cause of their situation or problems. You must examine your root in others to destroy any spiritual forces that are responsible for destroying your life. A spiritual husband or wife can get you to marry someone, by their order, but not by your choice. Before you find out that you're already married to someone you don't love, whose foundation is caused by a spiritual husband or wife. This spiritual marriage that I am talking about is more real than you can imagine. You can ask questions but you must understand that what you do in the spiritual is more real than the physical. That's why some people who are involved in this spiritual abuse can't sleep with their wife or husband in the same bed, the two people can still be in the same bed but one at one end and the other at the other end of the bed while the stupid spiritual husband or wife sleeps in the middle separating them. Most of the time the behavior of the spiritual husband or wife who is victimized is the reaction of the spiritual husband or wife, Genesis 6 verses 1 and 2, Job 1 verse 6, Job 38 verses 4 and 7. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Daniel 3 verses 24 and 25, call an angel the son of God in Jude 6 and 7. Also 1 Corinthians 6 verses 15 and 19. You have to withdraw your blood from any evil altar. Cancel out the effect of the attacks of the disease during the menstrual period. You must take back what was stolen from you and your family. You must die. Man's greatest enemy is the flesh because it is what causes many to go astray. Unless you know how to handle meat, you will never understand or enjoy what the Bible calls abundant life. You can trade at the minimum level and be satisfied. You can't understand how sweet it is to serve the Lord until you're dealing with the flesh. If he does not take care of it, he will be a permanent candidate for liberation. You have to deal with the meat. Paul the Apostle of Jesus said I die every day. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 31. The flesh is that part of man which is rebellion against God. The Bible calls it flesh, sin that dwells within. The flesh is that part of man which forbids the practice of all that is spiritual sound in the life of the believer. When the believer says, I will be holy, read my Bible regularly, pray, and fast fervently. The flesh will raise up all opposition. It is the key the devil uses to gain control over lives. The flesh, the producers of evil works, so repentance is equivalent to the destruction of the works of the flesh. Mr. Flesh is the cause of all sins, such as anger, though impure, lust, adultery, and fornication are evidence that Mr. Flesh is on the throne. You can say that you are free in some sin, but Mr. Flesh is ruling in a particular sin. The flesh operates a very effective satanic division of labor, such as sexual immorality. They run a special department in temptation, in fact, the flesh gives various ways to send the children of men to hell. Again, there are those who are responsible for sins of the heart such as pride, malice, etc. You have to do everything by separating yourself from these sins by God's grace and mercy. The cross is at the center of Christianity, without the cross, the life of Christianity is non-existence. Christianity without the cross is like a tree without fruit. The flesh doesn't want to be disturbed, but it can't be without the cross. The power of God resides in the cross, when Christ was crucified on the cross, it was frightening. 
the cross was first placed on his shoulder as a burden. He took him to the place of crucifixion. He gave himself up for crucifixion, his two hands and two legs were nailed to the cross. This was a symbol of suffering. Let it settle in your mind that, there is no freedom without you paying a price for your freedom. The cross is a place of judgment, it is where God judges sin and many love the miracles of Jesus but few are willing to carry the cross of the Lord Jesus. On the cross the whole sinful habit, sickness, disobedience, bad behavior, bad traits, etc. are over. The cross is a gateway to prosperity, wealth, the sign of wonder and miracles. The cross is the power of God because without the cross Jesus, who was the Son of God, could not go to heaven without going through the cross. When you reach the cross, all fleshly substitutes will vanish. You must take a trip to Golgotha if you want to have power with God and man. When you are crucified, the world will cry out, these are the men and women who are turning the world upside down, let's think again about the life of Jesus, when he was born, the angels announced his birth, Luke 1 verses 1 and 31. Great men came to see him, throughout his ministry, until he was in the garden of Gethsemane, the angels ministering to him. But the moment he was hung on the cross, the angels abandoned him. The Roman soldiers ridiculed, mocked, and laughed at him. There was no body by his side, it means that the way to the cross is painful, but it is from the cross that you exercise power and dominion over Satan and his kingdom, you must go to the throne and be crucified, take note that the moment you decide to go to the cross, opposition will arise from all sides, Romans 6 verses 1 and 6. The danger of the sea spirit. This spirit is very seductive and can control its victims using various means. Women or young girls who move and anyone who talks to them looking dazzling and sleeps with you. Who is that person? Where does he or she come from? It can be a marine agent who has been assigned for your destruction and you immediately sleep with that person, welcome to the world of trouble. I was told of a woman who will go into a forest and meet an old man in a small house for money rituals after a while, a creature with two legs and hands would have sex while that creature is sleeping with her, he is vomiting money, like while he sleeps with her, she would vomit money. Her satisfaction would then travel abroad and treat the wounds for three months and the money would run out, she would take fled and return to the same place until one day the friend who has been asking for her help, took her there and refused to let Lucifer have sex with her, thus exposing that secret. I want you to know this, if you have sex with a ritualist or an occult man, you think that man is having sex, but let me surprise, it's not. If he's not depositing, he's taking things out of you. I was praying for my sister who told me of a very wealthy man that every time she slept with him, she would be unconscious until the man finished and recovered. What's wrong with you, maybe unconscious, it's a snake that's sleeping with you or an animal, another creature. They are sisters who, while they were praying to them, spermatozoa would come out, you may wonder where is it from. That is the work of the spiritual husband. Praying with power and wrath. When you are in a certain condition, praying with power and anger is the only way out for you. The experience of Paul and Silas, Acts 16 verses 22 and 29, Paul and Silas were put in prison, but at midnight, while they were singing, praising God, and praying, God sent them an earthquake of deliverance. What you do at midnight determines what the day would look like, what you did at midnight brought you liberation. If God doesn't intervene in the midnight disaster, it may be the end result. There is no born-again Christian who sleeps all night and expects something good to come out of his life. Daniel 11 verse 32. Authoritative prayers, it is the prayer of binding and loosing, God has given us the right and privileges as his children. One of these is the power to bind and loose, powers to control and rule. Power to execute judgment, written powers to restrain Satan and his agents. You simply take your place as a son and give spiritual orders. You must exercise authority over all the evils contained in each day and bring them to zero, Matthew 18 verse 18. When the disciples and early Christians prayed, the Holy Spirit descended upon them and they were endowed with power from on high, Acts 2 verses 1 and 4. Prayers of spiritual warfare, God has given us power over the evil one. If you submit to God, you can resist Satan. He wants us to submit to him in others to resist the devil and see him flee. He wants us to fight for the redemption of the lost, for the nation and for individuals. 
The first thing you must learn if you are going to penetrate the spiritual darkness and gain victories in the prayers that belong to you is first of all to understand the nature of the battle. We are not in a natural battle. We are in a spiritual war. The Apostle Paul fully understood the nature of the battle as well as the forces of darkness and how to win the battle. He used the intense terminology of the Greek games, struggle, agony, and strife, as well as military terminology to describe this invisible spiritual warfare. War prayers are prayers of attack in which we cling to darkness and devious powers in a very fierce spiritual conflict. The book of Ephesians 6 colon 10 12 paints a very clear picture of the reality of certain spiritual entities we need to engage in battles. Power in prayer, without a proper prayer cover for any minister or child of God, heard, the star killer and destroyer of destiny, will always get away with it and God can't stop him. If you don't pray, the devil and his agents will reduce you to zero. Its simplicity means that until you start talking to God about your situation, nothing will change, but as you discover and begin to pray, you will regain all that is missing in your life. Prayer is a gift. You have to take prayer as a gift to you and a privilege, you need to learn the art of war prayer. The current temperature of many Christians' prayer life must be raised if they expect a breakthrough. Take three days of fasting with night vigil, praying from midnight to 4 a.m. and make sure you pray in the day as well and you have to break the fast in another to pray violently. Or seven days of night vigil from midnight to 4 a.m. consecutively. Fasting days go with water, if you can't, pray aggressively. Personal liberation. When you understand self-liberation, you will avoid being demonized, you will stay physically and spiritually strong, healthy, and away from demonic pollution. The money spent on the hospital will be used for something else. You should know that demons can get out through breathing, coughing, choking, yawning, sweating and vomiting, etc. The manifestations vary depending on the spirit involved and the way God has decided to let the demons out of your body. Know that if multiple demonic spirits are responsible for a problem, they must all leave before full liberation is assured. Once the spirit leaves you, there should be a change in your life both physically and spiritually, things will start to work better. All of this is to help you achieve self-liberation at home by yourself. Steps to follow for group or self-liberation. Please, dear readers, take every step of these prayers very seriously because God will surely free you from all satanic bondage, in Jesus' name. Begin with praise and worship. Praise and worship Him until you feel something in your spiritual mind. Break covenants and curses that connect you to the spirit husband or wife in Jesus' name. Bind all the spirit that associated you with those covenants and curses in Jesus' name. Put one hand on your head and the other hand on your stomach or your belly button and start praying like this, fire of the Holy Spirit burns from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, or start mentioning every part of your body. And ask the Holy Spirit to destroy everything that God hasn't put in your body so that it comes out in Jesus' name. Soak up the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, enter my spirit, soul and body, drink the blood of Jesus, continue until you are filled with the Spirit of God, it is doing something and then it stops. Firmly demand in the name of Jesus Christ, that any spirit that is not of him leave you in the fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and nose and start inhaling and exhaling, do it like 10 times and stop, but exhale forcefully through your mouth and nose. You might be surprised at what will start to happen. It would help you expel any evil spirits deposited or impurities in you. You may start vomiting or manifest yourself. Don't lose focus and stop, just keep going. Zechariah 2 verse 5. Revelation 12 verse 11, and Psalm 34 verse 7. You have to be careful when you begin your liberation process, because this same spirit will try to control you by bringing bad thoughts and other things into your mind, but resist that devil and he will run away. Acid Prayers Against Spirits of the Sea Kingdom Spirit, husband or wife, I command you to release me by the fire of the Holy Spirit, and I cover myself and declare it in Jesus' name. I command every spirit, husband or wife in my life, to die in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen and I renounce all spirit-made marriages in the name of Jesus. And any covenant with spirit wife or husband, I command to be broken in the name of Jesus. Any certificate of spiritual marriage shall be burned to ashes in the name of Jesus. The legal basis on which the spiritual husband or wife stands, 
as righteous over my life, I declare him or her destroyed in Jesus' name. I declare that the power of the Most High God and the fire of the Holy Spirit burn the evil spiritual wedding ring and wedding garment in the name of Jesus. I command any spiritual wedding ring on my finger or toe to be removed by fire in Jesus' name. You give me back every property and that it is mine and that you have stolen from me, I declare to return to me all my possessions in the name of Jesus. If my blood, sperm, or any other part of my body is being taken at the sea altar, Right now I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, nullified and declare nullity and freedom into my life, in the name of Jesus. Every power that is working against my marriage, sponsored by spiritual marriage, dies in the name of Jesus. Let every blood covenant with spiritual husband or wife be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. I strip myself of all deposits of sexually obtained matter, and that are in my body as a result of spiritual or physical sex, be extracted in the name of Jesus. Or my God sends fire from the Holy Spirit to my root and burns any unclean thing deposited by the spiritual husband or wife in the name of Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Spirit, I crush the head of any serpent deposited by the spiritual spouse to harm me in the name of Jesus. I wash my belly with the blood of Jesus, from every evil deposited that I must never have children in the name of Jesus, I renounce and reject any name that the spiritual husband gives me. May any evil veil over my life placed by the spirit of water turn to ashes in Jesus' name. Anything that stands between me and my answer from God. What are you here for? I command you to yield in Jesus' name I destroy the power of any demonic seed in my life from the womb, in Jesus' name, and I declare that as of today you can no longer have access to reproductive doors that are in me and over my life and blessings as of today. In Jesus' name. I give a bill of divorce to every spiritual husband or wife in Jesus' name. And I wash myself with the blood of Jesus from any sins of spiritual spouse in Jesus' name. I remove any spiritual ring from spiritual husband or wife by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I command that the spiritual rings be removed from the toes of the legs in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of seduction that works against my life, physically or spiritually, I command you to come out of my life in Jesus' name. All spirit of seduction. Prostitution working against my life I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I erase any sexual dreams or spiritual sexual memories from my life in the name of Jesus I command every spirit of fornication, immorality, adultery, and rape out of my life starting today by fire in Jesus' name I destroy every sexual curse and lust upon my life to be destroyed by thunder and fire in Jesus' name. Every spiritual child who is preventing me from not having mine children physically, so that I may wake up and die in the name of Jesus. Whatever the spiritual husband or wife has destroyed in my or my partner's physical sex organ, may it be restored and returned to normal in Jesus' name. I declare today that, spiritual wife or husband who has been manifesting your authority over me, I now declare him powerless in Jesus' name. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that my God, and he alone has power over me in the name of Jesus. I command the dark powers that have manipulated my friendship with many bad men to destroy it and break their powers in the name of Jesus. I bind any demonic water spirit that controls my relationship and has over my affection so that it is dispersed and rendered powerless by the fire. In Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I turn away from the strange authority that has been exercised over me, being from the sea or the earth destroyed in the name of Jesus. My Lord, by your power, I reject any position or any chair of honor that has been given to me in the sea in the name of Jesus. I reject any name given that the spiritual husband or wife always calls me or communicates with me through him, to be blotted out by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I separate myself from any sea kingdom by fire, in the name of Jesus O Lord, whatever the sea spirit has used to say I would not deliver or leave them, I command you to burn now in the name of Jesus. Whatever covenant I made with the water spirit or with my parents and it's affecting me, let it be destroyed by thunder and fire in Jesus' name. You, that spirit bridegroom, who causes me a miscarriage, I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus. I command that any rubbish that the spiritual husband or wife has deposited in me, such as sickness, barrenness, theft, slaughter, and destruction, shall come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any power of the husband or wife spirit that force me or my family members not to marry, set us on fire, and become powerless in Jesus' name. 
any power of the spiritual husband or wife that brings late marriages or wrong decisions, to catch fire and become paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of rejection that the spiritual husband has put in saying that my physical husband will never love me or that he will not be faithful to me. I declare it burned with the fire of God and may it burn and burn in the name of Jesus. Whatever veil the spiritual husband has put on me so that I will never marry or not, what is called happiness, will be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command fire to consume any throne I possess in the sea kingdom in the name of Jesus. O, oh, my Father, my God, let out any spirit of mental disorder caused by the spirit of a husband or wife, come out burned right now with your power, and come out of my life now, now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of death or fear of dying all the time, caused by the spirit of wife or husband, is now destroyed and scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of accident in my life and misfortune be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God. Enough is enough, I put a barrier of fire between me and the spiritual, over husband or wife in Jesus' name. He commands any spirit of barrenness caused by spiritual husband or wife to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I free myself from any spiritual prison and lose all satanic chains in the name of Jesus. Please place your hand on your stomach, command any spirit of destruction in your life to come out in Jesus' name. Command that any sickness in your life be destroyed in Jesus' name. Jesus, I command any black and spiritual covering, covering my blessing, finances, and marriage to catch fire right now in Jesus' name. I command any thoughts of immorality, lesbianism, homosexuality out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spirit of hatred caused by this spirit of spouse to greet my husband or wife, or family, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Whatever the spiritual spouse stole, I declare restoration and take it out in Jesus' name. I destroy any erroneous or satanic foundation in my life to be scattered by fire in Jesus' name. I command that any burden of spiritual marriage be destroyed as a result of a family foundation in Jesus' name. Whatever spiritual manipulation has been done to destroy my life, I declare deliverance in Jesus' name. Any spiritual wife or husband who is tormented as a result of my past life to be destroyed in the name of Jesus O oh my God, by your great power. I destroy any curse that has been made that I will never be married to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. I command any arrow from the spiritual husband or wife to return to the sender in Jesus' name. I command that my menstrual cycles flow normally now in Jesus' name. Place your hand under your stomach, command that my menstrual cycles begin to flow now, and that every correction be made in Jesus' name. Any strong woman or man assigned against my life from the sea, may the fire devour them in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me on any satanic altar in the name of Jesus. From now on may the fire of God consume any water spirit that is being programmed against my life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, thank you for deliverance and advancement in my life, family, marriage, finances in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. The End End of this wonderful audio book